Vietnam's road to economic success is becoming clogged. One of the costs of the communist government's embrace of capitalism is traffic congestion. The narrow streets of Hanoi can't cope with the influx of cars and motorbikes. So government leaders in the capital have decided that after a gradual phase-out, motorbikes will be completely banned from the city centre by 2030. It'll be a major change for Vietnamese so reliant on two-wheeled transport. Our culture, actually, I think it's kind of inconvenient. Yeah, first day, that, that's the first thing I think about. In Vietnam, using motorbikes is like a tradition for people, but I think traffic is getting worse. So if the government does this, I think it will be good to reduce traffic jams. Even some who have benefited from the motorbike boom think a change won't be so bad. The number of bikes coming here to be repaired may go down, but it won't affect me too much because maybe I can focus on quality rather than quantity. As recently as the late 90s, the roads were significantly quieter. More people rode push bikes, which is something today's government also wants to revive. And this is a big part of the motivation. A construction boom combined with the increase in vehicles has resulted in falling air quality. The fact the government is even considering this law is perhaps a sign that Vietnam is becoming a victim of its own success. It has one of the best performing economies in the world and while there are still big problems with poverty, wages are rising and with that comes an increase in purchasing power. But not everyone can afford a car and if they could, then the congestion and pollution problems would get a lot worse. So if the government's plan is to work, public transport will need to play a big part. But construction of a rail network in the capital has ground to a halt because of funding problems. Experts say all forms of public transport will have to be overhauled. The government needs to prepare thoroughly to guarantee the policy can be implemented. For example, the public bus system needs to be improved to meet increased demand before the new law can be introduced. City leaders in Hanoi have already done the easy part by passing the law. Now the hard work begins to try to put it in practice and free up the city's streets. Wayne Hay, Al Jazeera, Hanoi.